Hey friends and welcome to a tutorial on creating a multiplayer session for Trains Railroad Simulator 2019. Let's dive into that. I'm going to create this for Kickstarter County 2, so select that and choose View Sessions. And in here, Create Session. Okay, so if you've never made a session for trains before, this is where you find the trains. And you can scroll through the list of things that you have available in here, or click up here and start typing. I like this little SW1500, so I'm going to use one of them. And a couple of these cars. And you can see these arrows that show you which way is forward when you're running the game. If you go into the consist panel you can change that around and also rotate consists in here you can also find consists that have already been created for you and make life easier sometimes I've created a few more there and when you're making a multiplayer session you need to use built-in content or things from the DLS or official DLC but we can't use anything from third-party sites or any modified content in a multiplayer session. Let's put one more over here. Okay, so now I have some nice trains that I like. And so we'll go into here to edit the parameters for this session. Uh, one of the things you might like to look at is the quick drive rule. And here we can change the time of day that the session starts. I think I'll make it a bit earlier in the morning. And there's a couple of other things there you can customise. And to make this a multiplayer session, we need to add the multiplayer rule. And we'll just have a quick look at that one. Suggested maximum number of players for this session is four. I think that's probably a good number when I have four trains there. Maximum number of drivers per player. Uh, might change that to two so that way if there's only two people playing the session they can still run four trains if they want to. And there's some other things you can customize there if you like. But that's really all we need to do in here to get this going. I'll just give it a name and description and save this one now before we can run this session we're going to have to upload it to the DLS so we're just going here and exit surveyor Now to move something onto the DLS, we'll go into the launcher and choose manage content here. And this is a list of all the content that's installed, so to narrow that down a bit, help me find my session. And here it is here, so I'm going to right click on that and export to CDP. So that creates a package with the session so that I can upload it to the DLS. So to do that, I will now go to Trains Portal and log into my trains. And now under Download Station here we can see my content. And I'm going to upload content. And if you come in through Trains Portal, there are two ways. You can either use the automatic process or the preview area upload, which lets you look at how it's going to appear on the DLS and change things or even remove it before it appears on the, on the DLS. I'm just going to go for the standard upload here. So it's uh, asking me to choose a file. And there's my CDP. 
uh, accept the license agreement here and choose submit and once that's been approved I'll receive an email from uh, the DLS telling me the contents uploaded and ready to use so really that's about all there is to it as they say in popular trains videos so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's been of some use to you and thanks for watching